History in Focus. In Washington, D.C., on May 30, 1922, a crowd gathered in front of the newly completed Lincoln Memorial. It was dedication day, and over 50,000 people had come together to celebrate the opening of the memorial. Among the VIPs present, one man stood out, the last surviving son of President Abraham Lincoln, Robert Todd Lincoln. In this episode of History in Focus, we delve into the life and experiences of Robert Todd Lincoln and the significant historical events he witnessed. Robert Todd Lincoln was born on August 1, 1843, in Springfield, Illinois. Growing up, he had a close bond with his mother, Mary Todd Lincoln, as his father's work as a lawyer and politician often took him away from home. The strong connection between mother and son deepened when Robert's younger brother, Eddie, passed away in 1850. Robert was known for his sociable nature, much like his parents. As a teenager, he joined the Springfield Cadets, a youth club that participated in military parades and activities. It was during this time that Robert attended the final debate between Stephen Douglas and Abraham Lincoln in 1858. Inspired by this experience, he decided to pursue his education at Harvard College and traveled to Springfield in 1859 to take the entrance exams. However, he didn't pass and instead enrolled in the Phillips Exeter Academy to better prepare for the exams the following year. In 1860, while Abraham Lincoln was invited to speak at Henry Ward Beecher's church, Robert traveled to New York to see his father. It was there that Lincoln delivered his renowned speech at Cooper Union Institute, which helped boost his political standing. Robert, who had just been accepted to Harvard, witnessed this pivotal moment. As his father's presidential campaign progressed, Robert returned to Springfield after the election and accompanied his father on the journey to the inauguration. Although he was unaware of his father's decision to travel separately due to assassination concerns, Robert went back to Harvard to continue his studies. Despite the outbreak of the Civil War, he didn't immediately enlist, likely influenced by the prevailing belief at Harvard that educated men were more suited for officer roles. Furthermore, his mother strongly opposed his enlistment, fearing the loss of another son. Publicly, she advocated for educated individuals to serve the country effectively. Abraham Lincoln also had concerns, fearing that Robert's enlistment could be exploited by political opponents and hinder his own duties. These factors, along with his father's wishes, prevented Robert from joining the war effort. Instead, Robert focused on his education at Harvard, visiting his family in Washington, D.C., during breaks. Despite his prominent lineage, he remained modest and humble, earning admiration from others. While engaging in social activities occasionally led to trouble, it was no different from the typical experiences of a young man at Harvard. However, his academic performance suffered, particularly during his junior year. Things changed after the winter of 1862 when his two youngest brothers fell ill with typhoid fever. Robert assisted his parents during a large reception, and during this time, his brother Willie passed away. The remainder of his time at Harvard was dedicated to studying, and he made regular visits to the capital. In either 1863 or 1864, while at a train station in New Jersey, Robert narrowly escaped an accident when he was pulled up by Edwin Booth, the famous actor and brother of John Wilkes Booth. Robert had the opportunity to witness pivotal moments of the Civil War and confided in his father as the conflict unfolded. He was present in July 1863 when the Union Army pursued the Confederate Army out of Gettysburg. Robert described his father's distress during this time, as he sat at his desk, head leaning on his arms, and tears evident on his face. In 1865, Robert had a conversation with his father about the failed Hampton Roads Conference, an attempt to negotiate peace between the Union and the rebellious states. They also discussed the enforcement of the Monroe Doctrine, which involved declaring war against France and Mexico to remove Emperor Maximilian. Despite their hopes, the conference yielded no results, and the war continued. Robert graduated from Harvard in 1864 and decided to follow his father's footsteps by pursuing a legal career. Abraham Lincoln jokingly remarked that Robert would learn more than he ever did but wouldn't have as good a time. In the winter of 1865, Robert returned to Washington, D.C., and expressed his desire to see military service before the war's end. 
Eventually, his father agreed under the condition that Robert would join General Grant's staff as an aide, with the salary paid from Lincoln's own pocket. Grant accepted the offer, and Robert joined the army as a captain, serving as an adjutant to Grant. He performed well in his role and had the opportunity to witness his father's second inaugural address before returning to the front lines in April 1865. Robert was present for two pivotal moments in American history. On April 9, 1865, he stood witness as General Robert E. Lee surrendered to General Ulysses S. Grant at the McLean House. Lincoln and the other junior officers sat on the porch, waiting for Lee and Grant to conclude their meeting. Shortly after, on April 14, Robert returned to Washington, D.C., and had breakfast with his family, declining an invitation to join them at Ford's Theater. Tired from his journey, he spent the day as unknown. However, someone rushed to the White House to inform Robert of his father's shooting. He hurried to the Peterson House, where his father was taken, but was informed by the attending physician that recovery was impossible. Throughout the night, Robert comforted his mother as they witnessed Abraham Lincoln's passing on April 15, 1865. At the age of 21, Robert Lincoln became the head of the Lincoln family and the keeper of his father's legacy. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe for future content. Let us know your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below.